Welcome to the Microsoft Academy. So today we are going to be looking at the unit vector operation. Okay, and these unit vectors we are going to call them i, j, and what and k. All right. So now the unit vectors we say let these unit vectors i, j, and k be the unit vectors that will represent x, y, and what and z what directions or coordinates. Okay. Now. We are going to take note of the following. If we are doing the first one is for in terms of the dot product, then the other one will be in terms of the uh, cross product. Okay. Now we have already made a video on dot product and cross product, so you can check the link below to get more understanding about this dot product and cross product. All right. So for the dot product, we say i dot i will be equal to j dot j which is equal to k dot k and finally it is equal to what? 1 so that means that i dot i okay, is equal to 1 j dot j is equal to 1 k dot k is also what? equal to what? 1 so when you are dotting two same um, unit vectors then the result will be equal to what? 1 that's what it means so but when we do something like j i dot j will be equal to zero okay because they are not what the same then if you do j dot k also equal to zero k dot i is also what equal to what zero why because they are different what vectors that are dotting each other so it becomes what zero all right so that's for the dot product then for the cross product we have i cross j is equal to k and j cross k is equal to i k cross j cross i is equal to j then we have j cross i is equal to minus k and k cross j is equal to minus i then we have i cross k is equal to minus one j all right so i will give you a simple trick on how to get these different results for the cross product. Now let us write that this is i j k. Okay, maybe if we are following the alphabetical order, this is i j k, right? Good. So and this direction is the clockwise one direction. Okay, then if we are to move the other way around, let's say this way around. Okay, that is this other way, then we are moving the words at the clockwise words direction. Right? Okay. So you can see it as your work clock, the hand of your work clock moving this way is the clockwise words direction. If it was to move opposite direction, then it will be the words at the clockwise words direction. So this will help us to get the different results there. So for the first one, we have I cross J. Okay, we have i, the next one here is what? j. So we are moving the clockwise what? direction, which means that as we move along the clockwise direction, we are going to meet what? k. Okay, since it is clockwise, the result will be positive what? k. Are we together? Alright, then j cross k, that is for this, j cross k, j cross k. So we have j, we cross with k. And the next one we need is i. And the, the most important thing is that we move in the clockwise one direction. So the result we get here will be positive. Alright? So we have our answer as positive word i. Then the next one we have is k cross i, right? Good. So k cross i, the next one we get to be what? J. Okay? And we are still moving in the words in the clockwise one direction. K cross what I we have what positive what J. So that is our result positive J. Alright, so let's move the anti-clockwise direction. Now the first one we have J cross I, right? This is J. So if we are to move to the next one, it should be I right here. Okay. So that means we move this direction to get to what? To K. So because we are moving this direction towards this is the anti-clockwise direction. 
okay if we add a clockwise what direction moving this way so we move j cross i we get towards k because we are moving in the anti-clockwise direction therefore our result k will be negative so that we have minus one k all right so the same thing applies when we have k cross i k cross i here we have k cross i which is equal to what k cross i okay this is k no sorry this is j brother not i from the question there we have j not i so this is k cross j we still move what anti-clockwise so we to get towards i so it becomes minus what i so the same applies when you find i cross what k you are going to have what minus what j all right so if you do i cross k you have what minus what j because you are moving what anti what clockwise so that is the trick to get these different values for what for the cross products all right so we have a question here which we are going to solve okay so i'll wipe this side of the board so we can solve that question all right the first one we have we have a vector a and we have a vector b so we are asked to find a plus b a plus b here will be adding 2 we have i plus 2j minus 3k plus our b here is what 2i minus 3j plus what 4k right good so this will be equal to we are going to add up this unit vectors okay with their corresponding or less like terms okay or you add to their corresponding unit vectors so i will add up with 2 I. So we have i plus 2i, right? Then we have the next one 2j minus 3j, okay? Then the next one we have there is minus 3k plus 4 ones. k, right? Good. So we have that this would be i plus 2i will give us 3i. Then 2j minus 3j will give us minus what? j. Then minus k plus 4k will give us positive what? k. So that is our answer for a plus what? plus b. So we are done with that, a plus b. So the next one is to find a minus b. Like for your i, -I we have i here, okay? Then i, -I we are finding a minus b. Alright, so this will be equal to the vector a is i plus 2j minus 3k then we subtract that of b b is what 2i minus 3k 3j okay plus 4 what k all right so now this is what we are going to do we are going to simplify first of all minus we affect everything here so that here will be minus 2j 2i then i minus we multiply with minus here we have positive right so that this will be positive 3j then here will be negative 4k so if we collect like terms i and i we have i minus 2i j and j we have positive 2j plus positive 3j then the next one is minus 3k minus 4 ones Okay, so if you solve that, this will be equal to minus i minus 2j, 2i is 2i to give us minus what? i. Then 2j plus 3j give us positive what? 5j. Then minus 3k plus minus 4k give us minus 7 what? k. Alright, so that becomes our a minus what minus b all right so that is your answer for this okay so if we are asked to find the next question there says 3a so 3a simply means multiplying 3 with the vector words a so that we have i plus 2j minus 3 words k so if we do the multiplication 3 will multiply everything that is inside the brackets 
okay so that this will be 3i then 3 will multiply 2j you have 6j then 3 will multiply minus 3j you have minus 9 words okay so that is the result for that then the next question here is to find 2b okay now our 2b will be 2 we multiply vector b which is 2i minus 3j okay plus 4k so 2 we multiply this you have 4i right good 2 we multiply here 3j you have minus 6j then 2 we multiply 4k you have positive 8 words k so that is our output our result for 2b and what 3b okay so take note of that take note of that then the next question there is to find 3a plus 2b so let's solve that one so we are asked to find 3a plus 2b Alright, so we have already gotten our 3a to be equal to 3i plus 6j minus 9k, okay? Then we are summing or adding 2b, so that our 2b, we already got 2b to be 4i minus 6j plus what? 8 what? k. So this is what we have. Now, we collect like terms, collecting like terms, we have 3i we have plus 4i, okay? Then we go to 6j, we have 6j minus 6j, okay? Then we have minus k plus what? This. So that we have that this will be 3i plus 4i, we give us 7 what? i. Then 6j minus 6j, we give us 0 what? j. Then minus 9k plus 8k give us minus 1k. Alright. So here we can now write that our answer will be for 3a plus 2b will be equal to 7i. Okay, here is 0j, so it's as if there's no direction there, so we skip it out. Then we have minus k, which you can write here as minus 1k. So this becomes our what? our answer. Alright, so that is for your three A plus what two what B. You have this as your answer. So the next one we look at is this last question. Then we have V I. Okay, we are given we are asked to find C such that three A plus two B plus C will be equal to what zero. So our three A plus two B plus C will be equal to what zero. So this implies that 3a plus 2b, we have already got our 3a plus 2b to be equal to 7i minus what? Minus k. So we have plus c is equal to what? 0. So what we have done is substitute what we have for this. Okay? Yeah, we substitute it here. So now we make c the subject formula. c will be equal to move everything over to the equal sign. So we have minus 7i then if minus k move over it will become positive what k so this becomes our what our result for the vector what c okay that's for the vector c we have this as our answer so this is where we stop for today i hope this class has been helpful and um, i know we understand the basic concepts that have been explained here so you can make comments on the comment box there on questions that you find difficult here or more questions that you want us to solve on unit vectors okay and also um, make sure you have subscribed to the channel if you have not do that now and also click the notification bell to get updates so that you can be getting updates of series of videos that will be coming from the microsoft academy so thank you very much and have a